Welcome to Itchy Yak, where we believe that planning, executing and enjoying your holiday should be easier. I'm Joe Reed, and in this video we will be looking at the Shiam Rep of Myanmar, Bagan. We'll have a look at some of the main temples that Bagan has to offer and other things that there are to do here. Uh, this historic city has over 1,000 pagodas and it's a layered environment with forested areas, fields, hills and temples with those pagodas just popping up amongst them. But first we need to know how to get around. The answer is an electric bike. To clarify, an electric bike is a scooter rather than a pedal bike. It is quite a responsibility but it gives you a lot of flexibility. Electric bikes can be rented from many locations in the area. We paid 8,000 kyat per day. Tuk-tuks are also available. Once you get a set of wheels, it's time to explore. We purchased our Began Visitors ticket, which we would need to explore the area. We got this at the first pagoda that we visited at the cost of 25,000 kyat per person. Uh, just to orientate ourselves, the top of the map is north, Old Began is at the corner of the river with New Began to the south of it. What we loved about Began was the completely different styles of pagoda amongst its heavyweights. It keeps it fresh and interesting. This pagoda is found near the Yang U Market. This is a stunning gold leaf pagoda. This has some small pagodas and shrines surrounding it. Uh, trees hug this pagoda which was being repaired when we visited. It's surrounded by market stalls. This pagoda is referred to as the Westminster Abbey of Burma, or more correctly, Myanmar. This is four standing Buddhas facing north, east, south and west. Outside guardians known as Chinth point outward. They guard the holiest and most important temple in Bagan. This white temple is the tallest temple in Bagan and has a road running past it. Uh, once inside, you need to make your way through the tunnels, joining the rooms with outward facing Buddhas before looping back on yourself to exit. This stupa is small amongst its counterparts. It looks down on the bend of the Irrawaddy River in Old Began. This pyramid shaped pagoda is located on the outskirts of Old Began. This rectangular temple houses some large Buddhas that have been packed into confined spaces. This is the largest temple in Began. There is plenty of space to explore with some vendors finding the inventive places to place their merchandise. This pagoda feels like it's out in the sticks. It has a garden vibe throughout. I certainly think it's worth stretching out for. Also, Began Museum can be found in Old Began. We took a private boat at the cost of 20,000 kyat for sunset. Uh, the captain turns off the engine, thankfully, and you float back towards the bank over about half an hour. The boat ride gives you a side view of Began with its spires reaching up above the trees. It's not surprising that many take to the air in balloons to see this incredible landscape from the sky. Now we inquired after this, but it can be expensive. Also check how many people you're sharing the basket with as we were warned that if you paid at the cheap end of 300 US dollars, you might be sharing with 12 others. So just ask the right questions. We were recommended a hill sunset spot uh, we arrived relatively early, but as the traffic intensified, the amounts of tourists were a little overwhelming. It was fun to ride around on the scooters, and with the freedom came the option just to pick a direction and explore, which, for even smaller sites in the area, is just great fun. As we were exploring with our scooters, we saw some kind of celebration taking place. Bagan is a must-see for anyone visiting Myanmar. We would recommend Bagan to everyone. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. The bell icon will help our videos get to you with a notification. We welcome all the comments you may have. Have grand adventures, and we look forward to seeing you soon.